you guys are really gonna make me talk about it. Hi, I'm your favorite dysfunctional scientist, and let's set the story straight on growing teeth. First off, interestingly, there is a huge need for artificial teeth and replacements in young people because people went to Turkey and wrecked their teeth. It actually became a trend. I do not suggest doing that. You may have seen articles like the one titled above, Humans Have a Third Set of Teeth and New Medicine May Help, along with a link for a human clinical trial that is not targeting people who may have a third set of teeth buds. This is, in fact, targeting people who are missing teeth that never came in, so you may have dormant buds. Targeting genes that are involved in suppression of teeth buds becoming actual teeth could help people who didn't have their permanent teeth come in, come in. There may be people with additional tooth buds, but I haven't seen anything about trying to activate that in people that already have their adult teeth. But I found something else. They have actually been able to transfer tooth buds to other animals and induce those to grow. So hypothetically, if you were okay with like waiting a long while for a tooth to actually come in and replace one that's gone, you might be in luck. However, that is a problem because teeth generally come in when we're young. You may experience bone loss later in age, and I have no idea what it would look like for someone to get an additional set of teeth after they may have also lost bone in their jaw, which is very common for people who are, you know, missing teeth. I imagine this would probably not be a treatment that anyone who didn't have enough money to take care of their teeth would get. Now, if you would like some research that is less sketchy, I guess that depends on your opinion on chimeras. Researchers were able to identify a kind of stem cell that ends up becoming our retinas in our eyes when we are very little. They were able to grow organoids, so, you know, tiny organ-like structures. Hold on, I'll show you. Tiny organs, in this case, tiny retinas. They were able to transfer them to mice and actually cure blindness for them. Macular degeneration. They are now kind of human mice, but that is a different conversation. People do have some concerns about the humanized mice, but mostly with brain organoid transplants, and those are actually going on a lot. Do they change behavior? Yes, I have covered that. But this one is very exciting. You can also grow skin. Do you guys remember the flesh thing? You know, the human skin matrix that could be used to cover a robot and give it living, growing skin? Well, guess what? It actually has medical applications. Researchers were able to take mice who had severe tissue injury and actually replace their tissue with grafted, grown skin organoids. A lot of the times people have to get skin grafts and they have to contend with getting it from a donor or another part of their body. But what if you could just grow it for yourself? It seems that that technology is right around the corner now being tested in mice. And I do think it's going to come around a lot faster than brain organoids because transferring a piece of your brain just feels like it should have a higher bar for, you know, efficacy, ethics even. Either way, I'm really excited for a lot of the organoid stuff that's happening. We are growing organs, granted in piecemeal, and the bodyoids are a whole nother question, growing them in a brainless organism. There was a movie about that, also a thing. I've talked about it. 